We hear a lot about sustainability, but not always when it comes to books. Well, now a St. Louis Park author has created a truly sustainable book about sustainable living. It's called We Can Save the World, Mars Can Wait. Joining us now is the author, Lori Myron Manbeck. Thanks so much for coming in with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. So first of all, it's an interesting title. Tell us about the book. So the goal of the book is to provide really simple tips that anybody can use to just create a more personal, sustainable life, and also ultimately to start seeing every decision they make through a lens of sustainability. Mm -hmm. So that when they buy products, for example, they're looking for products that treat the world better and that are created in ways that don't harm the environment. Was this a long time coming for you? Like yeah. what, what inspired you to say, you know what, this is the book that I need to write right now? Yeah. So in so I was raised by my by two parents who I think are their primary objective for us as kids was to believe and to understand that as humans our main goal and our main responsibility was taking care of each other and the earth. And so from an early age, that is what I was taught. And so I became a geriatric psychologist, which is actually mm -hmm. my profession. And then in 2017, I just started feeling like we needed to do more to protect the environment. And so I started doing a bunch of research. I did a bunch of other things. And what I realized along the way is that there was a lot I didn't know. Mm. So there were a lot of really simple things I could have been doing that I just didn't know would be better for the earth. I hadn't thought of them. And so I wrote the book literally to say, here's a guide to start. Here's a way to start your journey. Here are some tips you can use, most of which are free and some of which save you money. Can you give us an example of something? Absolutely. So one of them is wash your clothes less often. Mm -hmm. Our clothes mm -hmm. actually don't need to be washed every time we wear them. If they don't smell and they don't have stains, don't wash them. Smell them. Mm -hmm. And if they don't smell, don't. Um, things like using a dryer ball instead of dryer sheets. Mm -hmm. A dryer ball is wool and it softens the clothes and takes out static just like a dryer sheet mm -hmm. with none of the harmful chemicals. Mm -hmm. And it, you can use it over and over yeah. and over and over These again. These are easy things to do. You were saying something to us before we actually came back, yeah. but in the book, can you explain the QR codes? Yeah. And what, what are the QR codes in the book? So when I first wrote the book, I hadn't added the QR code. So the book was going to be sustainable in the materials, which is sort of the which traditional Which is interesting. Thing. So you're talking about eco-friendly ink? Yes. So this book is not. This is a pre, you know, okay. sort of a pre-print. Okay. But the actual ink that will be used will be um, water-soluble ink. Yeah. The paper will be, um, you know, will have whatever the forest, mm -hmm. you know, the good foresting um, yeah. code. The cover even will be sustainable. Mm -hmm. So that's our goal with the book. But then we added QR codes, and when we did, we realized this can be not only sustainable physically, but sustainable in that it can continue to provide new information, Updating new all the updates, time. new, you know, we have some sponsors, so new information from the sponsors about products that they've created that will help which is so exciting because I think it is the first sustainable book on sustainable mm. living that yeah. could be just your guide forever finding new information. What a cool gift idea too yeah. for somebody. Yeah. Where can you find it if you're looking for it? So right now we're looking for a publisher and we're working on a website called Publish Sizer, mm -hmm. which works with, art, with authors and publishers to match them. And so we're pre-selling the book right now so people could get it there. Um, if they get it there, they get updates on when it's actually being published and all those things. And then as we sell the book, more publishers become interested in us. So our goal is to have it published in the summer or spring of, um, or summer or fall. Wow. Of 2024. Mm -hmm. Also seeing that 10% of revenue from the book will be donated to Alliance for Sustainability? Yes, which is an organization founded in, in Minnesota. It's been around for over 45 years that has worked consistently through that time on creating a more sustainable future. And it's even done things like um, gone to the UN and advocated for um, sustainable agriculture. Mm. So it's a really great organization. Also, every book that's purchased, we will plant a tree. So every time you purchase a book, we will pay to have a tree planted because we need to reforest. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. And offset. Lori, thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate your time. Yeah.